One of our viewers for the tip of the week, Patrick from Santa Fe, Texas, wrote in to us asking us to explain draw length. He had read that if you shoot a string loop, that increases your draw length, and that is entirely not the case. That is false information. All the bows today come in set at a particular draw length. This particular bow is set at a 28 inch draw, and what we're gonna show you today is when Brian pulls the bow back, we're gonna mark the apex of the string when it comes back. Tim is gonna show you his bow position, his arm position, and then he's gonna show you the arrow length. Then we're gonna cut the string loop, hook our release straight onto the string, and show you when you draw the bow back, the apex of the string comes back to the same position. So the idea that a string loop increases your draw length is wrong. All it does is move your hand position further back on your face. A string loop is not going to, if the bow is set at 28 inches, a string loop is not going to pull the bow any farther than 28 inches. All it does is change the location of the draw hand, and that is all. Okay, Brian is drawing the bow back. You'll notice his arm has a slight bend in it. It's not over-exaggerated. There's no trick photography involved, and I'm going to take a mark slot, and I'm going to mark the apex of the string. Right here is the apex of the string, and there's nothing wrong with his face. We just put tape on there. All right, that's the apex of the string. Hold on, don't move. And then this is the string loop position. Right there. Okay, ease down. These two marks are the apex of the string. This is the hand position with the string loop. Okay. Okay, we're still rolling? Yeah. No trick photography involved. Scissors. Cut the string loop. Then we'll simulate a cushion button and he's gonna connect He's going to connect underneath there. That string loop right there will be a cushion button. Coming back. No trick photography involved. You'll notice the slight bend in the elbow. Bingo. String is right there. His hand position has come up because now it's right here at the tip of the knot. So for anybody to think that adding a string loop to the bow changes draw length, is completely wrong. It does nothing but relocate your hand position. I'm Dave Lenning. That's your archery tip of the week, and we'll keep you pumping blood.